we just stumbled on something rustling in the bushes and then something else started coming out of bushes. We're not sure what it is. Sounded like it may have been several picas. Welcome to Colorado. So as we're heading into Colorado, we're looking up some of the wildlife to see what uh, critters we could find while we uh, go on a hike. So Connor's going to read off a very uh, interesting one we found that we thought we would look for. So the pika, found around the world at elevations of more than 20,000 feet, the pika is one of the most resilient beasts around, roughly the size of a fist. The pika tends to be, er, to be underestimated amongst hikers and climbers, though this should not be the case. By using a special type of telepathy, pikas are able to pull together in large groups with, within moments if threatened, joining up in numbers upwards of 100 to fend off a predator. If you happen to assemble on pika in the wild, know that it, his pika friends have his back. While death related to pikas are rarely discussed, dozens occur each year in Colorado. So with the pika being such a dangerous animal, we're going to keep our distance, but we're still going to try and find one. We'll just have to make sure it doesn't spot us or think we're a threat and uh, use the telepathy to call its friends. Um, they're very dangerous and there's been quite a few deaths but we think we can find one and stay a safe distance away to live to tell the story another day. Connor and I are just about to hike up the middle Columbine Trail near Colorado Springs to look for a pika. Now we don't have much information about the pika except they can be very dangerous and they can call more pikas from the surrounding areas when they feel threatened. So we'll have to be very careful as we go up the trail looking for the pika to, say, to stay a safe distance and not be seen or heard. Well hiking up the trail a little bit farther we think we found a possible pika hiding spot. Uh, as you can see me Behind me here, up in these rocks here, there's a lot of little holes they could be hiding in. Easy escape for them. Hopefully there's only one hiding there and they won't call their friends um, to attack us if they feel threatened. Alright, so this is kind of a little washout area. But it's a good hiding spot for small animals like the pika. Something moved. All right, go on a little bit farther. Small spaces and they're rocks so nothing can really move them easily to get to the small animals. Even though they're very dangerous, they're very good at hiding. I saw a flash of something right there. I don't know if I can zoom in at and see what it is. Not sure where it went. Well, it may have uh, may have disappeared, so it might have ran down the trail. Maybe it's a pika. Maybe it's another type of animal. Uh, we just have to be cautious in case they do attack. We just stumbled on something rustling in the bushes, and then something else started coming out of bushes. We're not sure what it is sounded like it may have been several pikas so we're running down the trail here to get away sadly I can't get any footage due to the pikas being so dangerous and if it's a pika or not we don't want to push our luck I think we may have lost it so hopefully we can get a actual good footage of the animal but we also have to be very very careful in case they attack. We have made it to the top of the hill. As you can see here, it just goes up a little bit and rounds right off. I'm standing on this uh, 
massive boulder here that it's probably about a 50 foot drop down to the ground. So we made it all the way up here. No evidence of Picus whatsoever. So are Picus even really a creature in the Colorado mountains or just a myth? Either way, when we get back down, we'll talk to some locals and see if we can actually get someone to talk and tell us about the Picus. And are they really vicious or are they a cute cuddly animal that looks like a hamster? There are real pictures out there of the Pika, so we believe they do exist. We're just not sure if they're as vicious as they're told to be, or if all that's just a myth to attract tourists. While climbing down the side of the mountain here, we have found a possible Pika nest in the side of a rock formation. So I'll show you that here. Here it is. See if Pika takes a lot of plants and brush that it can find throughout the uh, woods to try and keep warm in the side of the rock here. Doesn't look like anything is in there at this time. Uh, it may have heard us coming. So, so far it doesn't seem they're, like they're as dangerous as everyone says because we have not seen a herd come towards us or a flock. I'm not sure what the what the term they use for picas, but we have not seen a large group of picas yet. Just, you know, a few sounds in a nest that could whoa, that could possibly mean pika activity in the area, but no clear image of a pika yet. And still haven't seen a pika Besides that first encounter, we haven't heard or seen anything. And it's starting to get late, so we need to start heading back down the mountain. Uh, we'll probably go into town and talk to some of the locals and ask them about the myths of the Pika and if they're true or false. Um, the first time around, we couldn't get anyone to talk to us or that would let us videotape them. Uh, besides that, they want to say anything about the Pika. So we'll head down and see if we can get any more information. And if we have time before we leave, come back up. But it looks like this may be the last time we're looking for the Pika while we're here. <laughs> 